Hi Virgo, you write Tyronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you navigate the month's upcoming challenges. Now, please don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it does help me grow. If you'd like to learn more about E. Ray Taronic, the author, you can hit the down bar. All of my links are there as well as the links for the healing chakra beads and the sun catchers. Now, let's get into why we are here, Virgo. Um, we're here to cover Gemini season, not only Gemini season, but the month of June in its entirety. OK, so that includes a bit of cancer season as well. Now, Gemini season is here from May 21st through June 20th. The mutable air sign of Gemini is ruled by Mercury, as you are, making Gemini about networking and communication. This fun, curious sign loves to mingle. And with Mercury at its helm, they're naturals when it comes to learning new skills and or connecting with those that can assist them in opening these channels. OK, now this month we're prompted to take a page out of the book of Gemini. Listen, learn, explore, network. In order to expand your business this month, you're required to poke your head out of your shell, even if you remain in quarantine. Using the World Wide Web is going to be the best way for you to reach far and wide from the comfort of your own home. It's time to find the connect. Catch my drift? Now, let's look within and uh, see where some of the major planets will be transiting. And this will apply to the collective. After that, we will get into your individual um, horoscope, Virgo. But this up here will apply to all of us. And there's information for you as well, of course. Now, we know that Uranus is in Taurus. Taurus reigns over our money, our values, our resources. Uranus is the planet of revolution, shocks, surprises. It's going to be, uh, Uranus is going to be semi-sextile Charon at nine degrees, Taurus on June the 10th, June the 10th. This could bring a sudden or unexpected opportunity to recover from a financial loss. Maybe a chance to heal a broken relationship with a family member or a significant other. Some could find themselves the receiver of an enticing proposition that you know could ruin a relationship with a spouse, lover, or relative. So be mindful of what you get yourself into, okay? Now the sun is in Gemini at the start of June, keeping your focus on learning new avenues of creating success. Gemini is prompting you to be fun and sharp-witted with your business endeavors, okay? Then it's gonna enter uh, Cancer at zero degrees on June 20th. This is a time where you might prefer to stay at home nurturing those around you. You could slack off as to your professional goals a bit, preferring to enjoy the things around your abode that bring you contentment. Most certainly where cancer is concerned, the home environment will be a focus. Now, Mercury, the planet of communication, skills, sales, intellect, uh, intelligence, um, it's gonna be retrograde on June 18th in the sign of cancer at 14 degrees. Be discerning as to whom you spark dealings with, business or otherwise. You may find yourself in the midst of underhanded, lazy characters who mean to misuse your talents. People who make their way to high places through little efforts of their own. In other words, look out for the charlatan. Retrograde lasts until July 12th now. Um, with that being said, you'll also be dealing with people that you've dealt with in the past as well. Um, people that you need to revise, restructure, uh, go back over things with. Um, so be mindful of that as well. Now, Venus, the planet of romance, finances, abundance, pleasure, it remains retrograde in Gemini. The way you go about putting these things into action is what's really in question. Some will get a second chance to deal with the same issue. Will you handle it as you did in the past? If so, did you even re receive your desired result? Because if not, this is a chance to shift the outcome. Um, of course, I don't, uh, talks about finances will be a big focus during this time. So I don't recommend you making any drastic changes in your finances, unless of course it's scaling back. Um, now, um, of course, I don't recommend you making any big changes in your appearance either when Venus is retrograde. You may not have a taste for it once the planet goes direct. 
Now, Venus, the planet of romances, abundance, and pleasure goes direct in Gemini on June 25th. This is a position of wealth, success, fame, and intelligence. All areas are free to progress toward a steadfast abundance. Now, uh, Neptune. Neptune is a planet of fantasy, inspiration, dreams, illusions. It goes retrograde on June 23rd. This transit, of course, will affect Pisces uh, most. Um, it could put you in a lazy mood, bossy, sharp tongued, just because Mars is there as well. OK, it's not moving until uh, the 27th. Um, so try not to fall into the trap of holding yourself back or blocking your blessings. OK. By uh, just watch your mouth. Now, Mars enters Aries at zero degree where it is exalted, as I was saying, <clears throat> saying on June 27th. This is wonderful especially for Aries and Scorpio, who are ruled by Mars. I'm sorry. Now, even as a collective, our competitive drive is back. Our ability to overcome hardships is heightened. Now, this, will, this could incite more protests now, just because people will have the courage to fight for their rights. <clears throat> Your libido could be heightened and in overdrive. So... Don't allow yourself to be seduced by the snake in the, in the grass. You could stand to lose everything, you know? Be mindful of that. Now, Jupiter Quintas Charon at eight degrees in Aries, of Aries on June 1st. This could bring success in a health regimen. A chronic ailment that usually bothers you could subside during this transit. By the way, a quintile is when two planets are 72 degrees apart, forming a harmonious angle aspect. Um, now, Jupiter is conjunct Pluto, uh, both at 24 degrees in Capricorn on June the 30th. This conjunction is favorable for making great strides in uh, literature and education. Now, uh, you have to be willing to learn, though, to study, to try new things. Word of advice, your wit is sharp during this time. OK, just make sure your tongue doesn't match because you're under the energy of Capricorn and Capricorns can be very direct. It's going to be retrograde until September 23rd at Jupiter and Capricorn. Now, Saturn is retrograde in Aquarius until September 29th. As you know, Saturn is the planet of restrictions, responsibility, even karma, good or bad. Your actions help determine how your karma plays out. In this position, there's a danger of short lived romances fouling up one's karma. Watch, about, watch out for the relationships that you find yourself in, okay? Success can be achieved, but one must abide by principles, especially when you're dealing with Saturn, the heir of karma. Pluto, planet of rebirth, renewal, and resources, is retrograde until October the 4th. This is a time of transformation for the collective. Be gentle with yourself. In the coming months, our faiths will be tested. Don't allow yourself uh, to be bound by fear mentally. Don't be easily deceived. Do your homework before believing media and social propaganda as it will be shoved into our faces from all directions. We as a collective are at a vulnerable point in our lives. We as individuals must do our part by keeping up our hopes, by maintaining our mental health and doing what we can to be a part of the solution as opposed to perpetuating the problem. The silver lining is that Pluto being conjunct Jupiter helps us to keep our eyes on the prize while facing the current shifts in our personal and business lives. I implore you, keep a kind heart. The world needs compassion, as does the entire human race. Now, the full moon on June the 5th is in the mutable fire sign of Sagittarius at 15 degrees. This is, um, this is a partial lunar eclipse in the South Node. The South Node is your karma, your past life experiences. You've been there. You've done that. It's time to learn and move forward from there. A reevaluation of beliefs is upon us. The full moon brings things to a culmination. This moon squares Neptune and Mars over there in Pisces, Okay. Now we're going to talk about how it's going to affect you, you, your sign individually in a second, Virgo. 
Now the new moon on June 21st is in the cardinal water sign of Cancer at zero degree. This will be a partial uh, solar eclipse in the north node, okay? The north node is where you're trying to go in life, you know, without <laughs> being seduced uh, or corrupted by the money and power attained as you get closer to it, okay? This is this is what you're meant to where you're meant to go, where you're what you're meant to become, the North Node. The new moon brings new opportunities and a, a fresh start. It's a solar eclipse. The moon is blocking the sun. Okay, now let's get into how this is going to affect you individually, Virgo. Now, Virgo ranges from August 23rd to September 22nd. Okay, on June 1st. Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, is quintile Charon and Aries, impacting your sector of shared resources. Okay, this is where you can grow your shared resources, your sh money, your shared money and finances. Okay, we, you might be a, might get into a collaboration, or those you have a collaboration with, you get money from. Okay, now the month begins with the Sun and Mercury, the planet of skills, communication, intellect. Um, in Gemini, this puts the spotlight on your sector of career. Your name is being discussed among peers. Work through issues with patients, okay? Lots of communication comes your way regarding your career. The full moon in Sagittarius on the 5th squares Mars, planet of energy and challenges, along with Neptune there in Pisces, okay? That moon is going to square. Now, um... With it doing so, uh, it affects your area of home as well as your sector of relationships, okay? Your aspirations um, could be mucking up a uh, relationship at home with the family, um, your goals and things like that. You could have challenges that have to do with your goals and finances in the home or in the home, which creates an issue with your partner. Um, once the sun and Mercury move into Cancer, Mercury on the 18th and the sun on the 20th, um, your focus changes to your area of friends, goals, and high hopes. This is a wonderful change because you're assigned sextiles Cancer, okay? That brings you opportunity. So maybe, uh, maybe you could have communication with a person from your past because it's retrograde. Mercury is retrograde at that, this time. Um, it could be about a goal you guys once held together, or a goal you once held, and that could uh, come back into play and you could uh, have an opportunity there. Now, the new moon in Cancer on the 21st brings a fresh start that has to do with a friend or a goal. So yes, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at a new opportunity coming your way. Neptune goes retrograde in Pisces on June 23rd, aspecting your sector of, uh, of partnerships partnerships and relationships. Um, work on past aspirations with partners. It's time, you know. Venus is going direct in your 10th house of career on June the 25th. Um, it moves work relationships and resources that you hold uh, with them forward. Now, um, I want to make sure it, for those I, I said, I think, believe I said in the newsletter um, until Venus goes direct, but you have to forgive me that faux pas. Venus goes direct on June 25th in the sign of Gemini. Okay. For you, Virgo, it's, it's in your house of career. Okay. So it, it moves relationships, work relationships and resources forward. Okay. Um, that you hold in those areas. Now your son squares Gemini, so you'll have to work for it. Okay. It won't just, you know, it's, it'll be dropped in your lap, but you're going to have to work work for it <clears throat> to, to attain the success. We also have Mars moving back into Aries in your area of shared resources on June 27th, which means you will be ready to overcome those said challenges. Okay, so um, the last, last but not least, the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction on the 30th will be impacting your house of creativity and children. This is your sister sign, Virgo, okay? A huge rebirth in creativity is due you, and it brings in a blessing. 
Saturn remains in Aquarius, so lessons in work and health will remain a factor, okay? That has to do with your karma, good or bad. Things you've done in the past and the coming tests and what you're going through now and how you're faring on those tests determine the lessons you're going to face in work and in health. OK, <laughs> now, remember, Mercury goes retrograde on the 18th. So it's a time to work on things, not to launch. Now, last but not least, be safe and God bless you, Virgo. See you next month.